Zone 5. And today we have a lot planned. I want to give you a quick back garden tour of what has bloomed over the last week. I want to do a little and a, a little uh, flower arrangement for you and pick some beautiful garden flowers and show you how I put those together and how you can easily put together a garden arrangement. Uh, this project this week I've been working on is styling up the deck for summer here in the back garden. So I want to go thrifting, shopping, plant shopping today and look for some items to add to the deck for summertime. Um, I'm just running a little bit short on things for the, the deck and seeing if there's anything out there today that we spot that would be a good add-on to it. So let's get going. We have a lot to do today. Okay, so we're gonna start with a quick walk through. Just wanna show you what's in bloom right now. So much color really enjoying it and I know you're getting some of the early morning sun and I apologize for that in the, the filming but it is just looking gorgeous I think right now my favorite area is these sitting pretty roses and we do have the fountain going this morning and I love the sound of the fountain uh, we did have to do a major clean out on it. Uh, that's one bad thing about fountains, the maintenance on them, but it's the trade off and I do really like having it. And then these roses are looking beautiful, beautiful with the salvia. The Bosco Bell I showed you last week only had one bloom. Look how many have opened since then. The urns are filling out even more. The foxglove and the salvia have been the bee pollinator's favorite choices and butterflies. I see a butterfly right back there. Uh, so the salvia and the foxglove are the two winners, I think, for the bees uh, liking them. And then under the Jane Magnolia, the Two hybrid teas in the back have opened up quite a bit in the last week. The delphinium is just looking wonderful in between the two roses. It has multiple stocks on it. And this would be its second or third season. So then as we pan over and look at this corner, the Champagne Wishes has opened up a bunch. Okay, so we've got our flowers for our bouquet and I've spread them out just so you can see them. So the first thing I did was I got three stems of greenery and you can pick any type of greenery on any of your shrubs or bushes that you like. So we're just gonna set those in the plain water and there's nothing inside, no metal uh, chicken wire or anything like that. So it just has some tap water in it. And then I've got the three and now I'm going to put my roses in just because my roses are more thorny and it's easier to arrange them if you put the roses in next. And being very careful so you don't poke yourself as you're putting them in and I'm just kind of putting them around the arrangement in the vase. We're not going for a high stylized arrangement here. We're going for a garden arrangement. This is shop your garden. So you want just a nice bouquet that isn't overdone. So next we've got three little uh, stalks of lamb's ear. So we're gonna tuck those in. And I did those also kind of in that triangle pattern. And you can pull things in as you're moving around here. Now we've got our salvia. So we have some different sizes of salvia. And we're gonna just tuck those in too. And I like to take individual ones and put them down 
Now this arrangement is going to be a two-sided arrangement since I'm going to have it on a table. And so it just depends if you're going to only be able to see this from the front side or the back side. So let me pull, let me get closer to you. So there's our sweet little arrangement. Now you can move things around if you, like this rose is tucking in the back there, we'll just pull it forward. So whatever you like, and keep in mind, you're gonna redo this every few days because the garden roses will start losing their petals and you can just freshen up your arrangement with new roses because the other stuff will last longer. So that's just a cute little arrangement that we're gonna set here for now. And then the next thing I wanna show you is I wanna take you up on the deck and show you the um, footage that we did on the restyle so far. And then we are heading out to thrift and plant shop. So let's get going. summer refresh of the deck getting it ready to enjoy for those days where we can set out bring out a coffee and some books to look at or just sit in my chair and look at the garden and get more plans on what I want to do out in the garden just a really nice place to set and relax if the items I'm showing you today are available or something similar, I will put links below if you're looking for these types of items. Okay guys, this is really cute. That would make a cute plant stand for $34.99. And then they've got all kinds of containers. We have a wicker looking one here for $12.99. A little box that says pansies on the outside of it for 10. Oh, look at this big wrought iron metal one. $29.99. Okay, this is kind of neat. $24.99, the Mystic Maiden of Spring Star Wall. It's resin. Okay, that would look cute out on the fence. I kind of like that, you guys. I'm thinking I may need to get that. That's cute. Okay, I like this vintage teapot. That would be really cute with some flowers on it. Okay, let's pan around and look at the furniture that they have today. It's 
It's a cute little side table. We've got some baskets, bicycles with baskets. Yeah, I'm not seeing much in the, lots of furniture, but not seeing anything that I'm looking for. There's a side table that's made out of the rope. That would look cute on the deck with the glass top on it. But that's more than what I want to spend, $69.99 for the deck. Okay, that's a cute little bench. I would say it's a bench, $49.99. It's got a marble top on it. And I usually check out throw pillows when I go to thrifting to see if there's any throw pillows I like. Because a lot of times you can pick up throw pillows thrifting cheaper than what you can even buy new covers for them. I mean, look at that, somebody went to a lot of work to make that pretty napkin. We have more of them down here, embroidery napkins. $3.99. Colander down there. Remember the French market where they'd taken the colander and they'd hooked up um, some chain to it and made a hanging basket out of it? $6.99. That would be cute. Oh, and there's a recipe box that would be a good size to put seeds in, to keep your seed packets in, $5.99. It already has cards in it, brand new recipe cards. Okay, if you are having an outdoor party, look at this. It's a brand new, it's a cupcake holder. It even shows you on there. It's kind of cute for an outdoor summer garden party. So there's a spear like what I have out in the garden, but on a smaller scale for $19.99. I did find a cute little planter, and it is $7.99, but it's been marked down for half off. So $3.50, and it's a heavy glass. The black metal wrought iron with the wooden uh, base looks like a. it would make a good potting bench. It's a baker, an old baker's rack. You could put your pots here. The only thing would be is you would definitely have to secure it to a wall. It's not real light, but I would be concerned that it would fall forward if you put too much on it. But that's pretty cute. And it's got nice little curved feet, and you could spray paint that whatever color you wanted. And then look at the old, that would be a cute potting bench there, too. A Hoosier cabinet, but it's got the old flower thing on it. Interesting. You could do a lot of decorating with it. I could see all kinds of potential. We were just at a resale shop. Um, in that case, it was a consignment shop. Consignment shops seem to be a lot pricier than like what a charity shop or a Goodwill shop would be. Um, they had a lot of things at the resale store that I showed you. So we are now at the Goodwill. So let's head into the Goodwill and see what they have today. How big that is. It's plastic, but you could spray paint that whatever color you wanted. $4.99. That would look cool on your fence. Oh, in the garden with some ivy or something in it. Oh, and here's a great big picture. That would be pretty with flowers in it. So I always look for vases. And 
into anything that would work. Now I have this one at home already, $4.99. I think that's a, oh no, that's a 1-800 flowers. I thought maybe it was a Hager. That's a pretty vase. It's got roses already in it, but $6.99. An old, old looking, it's not a, a it looks old crock. $6.99. Okay, another plant stand, guys. It needs to be refinished, but they're only asking $8.99 for it. So for $8.99, that would make a nice plant stand. Okay guys, um, not much at Goodwill today. So we are at the plant store now. We are at Lowe's. We're gonna head into Lowe's and see what they have new and then probably hit another thrift store after um, Lowe's. So let's go check them out. Okay, and then they have Agastachian, uh, meant to be Queen Nectarine, eleven ninety eight. Look at the flowers on that. Bet you the pollinators would love that. And then we've got the fuchsia is bright cone flower from Proven Winners. And all of these are $11.98 and they're all in the same size pot. So pretty decent pot. Leading Lady Amethyst. So that's Bee Balm, $11.98. Look how pretty those flowers are. Okay, look at the banana cream proven winner's daisy. That's a pretty color. Okay, and then we have elephant ear coffee cups. And they're $15.98, so they're a little bit higher. Okay, and then I've spotted this lavender at a couple different places, and it's called, it's Monrovia, Platinum Blonde Lavender but it's kind of like a variegated. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And I think it's full sun, it's a perennial. So it says hardiness to negative 10. It gets two foot high by 15 to 18 inches wide. Deer resistant. I do like that, I think that's pretty. And then we have some Monrovia blanket flower. This is Spin Top Copper Sun for $11.98. And it's a perennial also. Negative 30 to 40 degrees is the lowest it goes. But boy, look at those flowers. Very pretty. And then Monrovia has Whoops a Daisy, Shasta Daisy. have really big flowers on them. I see some tick seed behind there. Lots of color. Okay, then Monrovia has spin top red blanket flower. So that's a really pretty blanket flower also. And again, that's a perennial and it is 1198 a container. Okay, so let's check out their roses now. What do they have got in roses? I've seen a lot of knockout roses, and I am seeing Easy Elegance roses. And okay, and here's a little pink rose, Pinktopia. And it's an Easy Elegance rose also for $24.98. I'm seeing a yellow one down here. Look at these flowers. Wow. High Voltage is the name of that rose. And then I see a coral one over there in the distance. So they have a selection of roses. We've got some more perennials there. Now let's go over and look at all their shrubs. Well, maybe not all of their shrubs. We would be here all day long. But let's take a look through a few shrubs and see what we see. I'm seeing the hibiscus. It looks like some limelights right across the way. A lot of hibiscus. 
Oh, and they even have the hibiscus in the standards. So $87 if you want it in a standard form. Okay, so they have let, oh, the Let's Dance series of Proven Winners uh, hydrangeas. So these are reblooming big leaf hydrangeas. So we have lots and lots of annuals on the carts back here. Let's go over here and look at their clearance. And then we do have some vinca here that they've put on their clearance. But their, their pots of geraniums are, some of them aren't too bad. But... Okay, so, oh, that's a pretty garden flax. That white color. With those little stars on it. Early white garden flax, $6.98. Okay guys, we are back uh, from shopping and I got a few things. So I did pick this up, like I mentioned, at the consignment shop and it was half off, so it was only $3.50. So that was a good deal. And it has a pretty, um, I'm gonna get closer here to the camera so you can see it. It has a pretty pattern on it. I like the leaf uh, motif on it. It'll be really pretty either out in the garden or in the house and just a nice open um, area to put a little arrangement in. I think it'll be nice. Always looking for pretty uh, different containers for flowers. I did pick up, you know, I'm on the scarf kick for um, the bistro table. So this one was brand new at Goodwill. And then this one I thought looked nice with it too. So they were $1.99. So got some new scarves to add. And then I did find this basket. Now this basket, it's it's pretty rough, but because it's rough, I'm not gonna have a problem leaving it outside. It won't bother me um, that it's outside, but I do like these handled baskets. They make really nice baskets to go around and pick flowers, or if you're weeding, you can, if you just need a little simple basket, or just to set down and put decor in. Um, I just think they're really nice out in the garden. Now this is a longer burger basket. It does have the stamp on it. And I did find this at the next Goodwill that we went to. Um, when I went in to take footage of that Goodwill, there just wasn't that much to take footage of. So my, my big purchase was the basket and the two scarfs that at that Goodwill and the basket was $2.99. So I thought that was a good find. Oh, and I did pick up this oil painting. I thought that this frame was really pretty and I thought the seascapes, the colors in it are really pretty too. And so I'm always looking at um, paintings when I'm out and when I come across a painting that's pretty, that either I like the frame or I like the painting. I pick it up if it's a good price and I thought I couldn't go wrong for $5.99 on this painting. So I did think that was pretty awesome. So we didn't find much today but we had a good time out um, and I did show you lots of stuff at Lowe's. Lowe's still has a lot of annuals, a lot of perennials, trees, shrubs, and um, I'm still looking. There's a few things I want to add to the garden, but you know how after a while you get pretty specific. And so I'm looking for some specific things, which I probably am gonna, we're gonna have to go to an actual garden um, private nursery more that would specialize in getting those special things in versus like a big box garden center. So um, may have to do that still but it's just a beautiful day now that we're back home. I did have to come home to get me some coffee. I was like ready for a coffee break. So I um, had my coffee and now we're outside and I wanna take you on a walk around outside now here in the afternoon sun. Uh, normally they say don't take video in the afternoon sun because of your light, but it's just so beautiful. So let's see if it's any better um, it might, the color might be oversaturated in the video, but, but we'll see. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is grab my coffee because I wasn't done yet. So we are going to take that with us as we're walking around. Okay, so let's see how it looks in the afternoon sun. And like I said, I don't know, it may be too oversaturated, but I don't think so. I think it's picking it up pretty nicely. 
Uh, you can see the Generous Gardener roses on each side of the trellis are open now and looking beautiful. Uh, I'm hoping they grow quite a bit this year. I think they will and get taller up the trellis. The Scepter de Isle rose, very pretty. It's that open cup rose and that's a David Austin rose. And I won't, sh I, we won't go through all of these because I just took you on the tour last uh, week and you've seen a lot of them. I just want to show you everything that's open since last weekend. Because stuff is really opening. These setting pretty roses, guys. Really liking those. I do have, where's it at? Back here. I'm going to do a little test on this. We've got chives back here, which we don't actually eat. I want to spray those and see if they're like the alliums, if they'll hold that purple spray paint. So I think we're going to give them a spray here in the next week and try that out. I also picked up paint today to um, redo the bistro chairs. I'm concerned that I need to probably get some spray paint on the bistro chairs because they're starting to rust and so I don't want them to get to the point of non-repairable so I think I need to put a protective coat on them. Look at all those bees on that, on that salvia. So as we walk this way You can hear the water in the background from the fountain. And before long, hopefully I'll have some hydrangeas. It's a little bit early for hydrangeas yet, but that'll look really pretty then with the roses in the garden. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a good time uh, seeing the garden, seeing the deck restyle, and shopping with me today, thrifting and plant shopping. I'll see you in our next video, guys, and have a great week. Mm -hmm.